in your taxi practice, so now it's time to fly. You know, instructors, I really like the dual lesson. It gives the students the confidence of having you aboard with or without dual controls. Of course, we recommend the dual controls whenever possible, and we hope to get them on this machine real soon. But after the taxi practice, and if your area is suitable, meaning long enough and wide enough, wind conditions, etc., you can actually instruct safely without the dual controls, assuming that you can get to the controls uh, for your instructors. Now, okay, here's what we're going to do today. Just like your taxi, okay, it's going to take a lot of power to fly the chute. All right, mm -hmm. so we'll start the engine. As soon as I, I see the chute starting to raise, I don't want you to look this time, but I'll tell you, fly the chute, meaning going to nearly full power for quite a few seconds, maybe five or 10 seconds or so. That's right, going back like that. Then, as the chute comes up, I'll say, back off, all right? Back mm -hmm. off, meaning going to about half power. We'll give the cells time to open up in the chute. Remember, you don't have to worry about anything. I'll make sure that it gets done correctly. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll reach around and do it. All right? Okay, so what we'll do is I'll say, start the engine, and just moments after that, the chute may start flying. Then I'll say, fly the chute, all right? So it's just like when you were taxiing, then you just go scooting down the field, okay? It's all right. You've just pushed my leg if I'm in the way. I'm leaning over right now. All right? Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and uh, start the engine. Okay. Go ahead. Clear. Okay, the chute's coming up. Fly the chute. Drop the power. Come on. About 10 miles an hour down the field. 